Yeah, it's a good place to start. These are two of the best teams in Class 6A2, and these teams know each other very well. Midwest City's head coach, Drell Hall, actually used to be Booker T's head coach. And Booker T's current head coach, Brad Caleb, played college ball with Hall. So these two head coaches and their teams now are playing against each other in the Fox 23 game of the week. Thriller between Midwest City and Booker T. First quarter, Preston Colbert's pass almost intercepted, but instead caught by DeClaudio Urban. 39-yard touchdown, Bombers up 7-0. Late first quarter, Philip Wheatley, Javion Hester, 25-yard catch. That ties it up. Let's go to the second quarter now. Ryland McCorders, electric with the ball in his hand. This is a punt return. Watch in awe. Making people miss, then outrunning the rest of them. The quarters go 77 yards. Booker T up 14 to 7. Last play of the third quarter. Fourth down and two. Preston Colbert to Kobe Washington. Eight yard TD, 21 14. Midwest City down by seven. Check this out. Colbert fumbles. Devontrell Hogg, he recovers in the end zone. That ties it up, and we are going to overtime. First OT, Josh McSow, 27 yards, no problem. That puts Booker T up by three, but Midwest City has a chance to answer no. Blocked by the Hornet defense. Booker T wins this thriller 27-24 in overtime. Four wins in four straight seasons for Booker T over Midwest City. Hornet quarterback Philip Wheatley passed for 197 yards and a touchdown and ran for another. Rylan McCorders had that 77-yard punt return for a score. He also had 33 yards rushing and 30 yards receiving. Dwayne Cooks with the big 90 finish with 80 yards receiving. I caught up with a happy head coach Brad Caleb after the game. Coach, win an overtime thriller. This is why you coach football, right? Well, I'm telling you, I don't know if I can run it too many more of these, but, man, our kids play well. And uh, hats off to, man, Midwest City, man. They have a great team. Uh, we'll probably see them somewhere down the line. But, man, our kids play well. I'm proud of them. This was obviously a big physical test, a big mental test. What did you learn about your players tonight? You know, uh, you know, not Quentin. I mean, our ideal is mono to finish the game, and that's what our kids did. I told them right here, hey, this is what championships are made right here. And our kids, perseverance, you know, uh, at the end. So uh, I, I'm really proud of them. Booker T definitely showed a lot of people the kind of stuff that they're made of tonight, a physical, mentally exhaustion game, but to finally win 27-24 in overtime, definitely a good feat for them. Hornets now 2-0 and on the season. Next week, they actually leave the state to play in Louisiana. Now, coming up here in a few minutes, I'm going to talk to really the player of the game, Ryland McCorders, coming up here on Fox 23.